Happy Monday morning, everybody. Sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's chilly, though. It's a little cold. All right. There are a handful of you. Not many, but there's a handful of you that have lost your ever-living mind over Joey Logano winning the championship. I wonder what it feels like to be Joey Logano this morning, playing by the rules, winning the championship, and waking up to, you know, I would say out of 100%, maybe 18 to 20% of you people, uh, really upset. I can't believe Joey Logano. He won three races out of 10, and he won the championship. Now, I said that to be a smart ass, but it's accurate. Joey Logano won three of the last 10 races, right? He won Vegas, right? He won the race at Phoenix, and he won another race up in there somewhere. But I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to merely give you a reminder. I'm not going to give you an ass chewing because you don't deserve one. You do not deserve an ass chewing. I really feel that a lot of you are hurt that Christopher Bell, Kyle Larson did not make it in. It makes no sense to be mad at a man that won the championship playing by the rules. Joey Logano could not help that Alex Bowman was light at the Roval with Charlotte. Joey Logano had nothing to do with that. Alex Bowman was light. He was DQ'd. Joey, Joey Logano was probably on his way home when they called him and said, hey, Alex Bowman just got DQ'd and we're in the playoffs. And Alex Bowman, his car was so light that the owner, Rick Hendricks, said, well, we're not even going to appeal this because we messed up. So he cannot help that they put him in the playoffs. Now, when the playoffs started, they started with 16 cars, 16. And Joey Logano's average finish that you all talk about was good enough to put him in this top 16. He struggled his way, and as the, as the playoffs went on, he got better. But what happened was the opposite for a Kyle Larson. As the playoffs went on, he didn't do as good. So as these playoffs are these set of rules, Joey Logano, he played by them, and he got better. So Joey Logano was in the top 16, and every three races they would get rid of drivers and then they would reseed them. So in reality, somebody like Kyle Larson, our greatest race car driver, he was seeded first and sometimes he would have a 50 point advantage. I think a lot of people forgot about that. When they reseed the drivers, what reseed means the playoffs are starting, okay? Let's say Kyle wins. Well, he's locked in the next round and then all of a sudden they, they spit out some drivers, and then when they start the next round of playoffs, they reseed them. In other words, they go, okay, who's going to be first? Who's going to be second? And when you get to be first, that means you, you get a big points advantage. And I think a lot of people forget that. So the only thing that I will go with you all on will be this. When this whole deal started, I remember myself years ago going, you know what? I don't really like the championship being determined at one race. And here's why. Because it comes down to one bad pit stop. I don't like it that you could be leading the race 
at Phoenix and you could be the dominant car for the championship race and you come down pit road and your jack, the hydraulic jack, your jack, it breaks. Something happens in the jack and it breaks and you lose the championship on one pit stop. I don't really like that, but I learned that this was really exciting. So when I do hear some of you go, I'd rather the championship be decided over three races. In other words, let's get down to the final four and those four run three races and they get three races to determine a champion. How do you do that? What happens if we do that in, 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 in the first two races, there's already a champion. Like he doesn't even have to go to the third race. How do you do that? I got it. I got to be honest with you. Call, call me a baby. That's fine. Call me a baby all you want. I kind of feel for Joey Logano. You got 18 to 20% of the people like a mob. They're like, rah, rah. No, Joey Logano, not real champion. Asterisk next to it. Come on. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm just saying, I'm looking at this as a smart man. Now, it's okay if you want to tweak the championship. It's okay if you want to make one little change to make it whatever. Uh, uh, I mean, we, got, we start this playoffs with 16 drivers. My gosh, how many more? How many more you want to put in? And then it's a playoff system. They run every three races, and if you don't do good, you get spit out. That's pretty good. All other sport, they play one game, and if you don't do good, you get spit out. Then they play another game, and if you don't do good, you get spit out. This is the only sport that gives you this much of a chance. You start 16 drivers, and you, you get to run three races. And if you don't do good in a total of three races, well, then you're out. You probably don't deserve to keep going on. You look at somebody like a Harrison Burton who got a chance. He, he flat-ass earned to win at Daytona. He won Daytona. He won it. And all of you cried it's a fluke. He doesn't deserve to be in. But he earned his way in. He won the race. So you're, you're going to have situations that make you go, wow, he don't deserve to be in or this or that. But th that's, that's sports all around. We see it all the time. I look at my St. Louis Cardinals. They only won 85 games and ended up winning a one-game one playoff against the Atlanta Braves and become the World Series champions. I heard somebody go, somebody said, we do not have the best four teams in the final four. I'm like, well, that doesn't even make sense what you just said. You said, we don't have the best four teams in the playoffs. That's because there's way more than four teams that are better. In other, in other words, there's in, in NASCAR, there's way more than four teams that are really good. There's, to get down to it, there's probably eight teams that are great. There's probably eight teams that are great. You know, when you look at the finishing order at Phoenix, it was pretty incredible how NASCAR got it right, right? Joey Logano won. Blaney was all over him for second. By the way, that race was a, a nail biter. Man, was it good. You had Tyler Reddick. You had William Byron. They were, listen, they had those four drivers I just said, they, they were in the top six. So you had four of the championship drivers in the top six. Where was Kyle Larson? Where was Denny Hamlin? Where, you know, where was Christopher Bell? These drivers are dealt the hand that they are given. But being a lover that I am, I will meet you halfway. I don't think it will ever happen because it will be a logistical nightmare. You say to yourself, 
they need to they need to run more different types of racetracks to determine the real champion my response is this they run 10 they ran 10 races they they ran 10 different racetracks to determine the champion the playoffs is a 10 race playoff then they get down to one race if you are good in all 10 of those races then you you make it to the to the four i don't think this needs to be complicated everybody but i will meet you halfway i will agree with you that when we get those when we come down to those four four drivers four teams i'll give you your three racetracks okay let's say i'll pick i'll let's say let's go to phoenix let's go to vegas that way we got kind of a you know phoenix is kind of a mile short track you got to use lots of brakes you got to slow it down let's go to vegas great racetrack and you pick another one but i want to keep it out on the west coast where we know the weather is good all right everybody i think i've said what i wanted to say i'm getting ready to go inside and we're getting ready to start the very first Herm and Schrader Show. It will air this Wednesday on the Dirty Mo media platform. From the mighty Midwest, St. Louis, Missouri, Herm and Schrader Show starts right now.